Centenary ball. Oh, how was it? Uh, <laughs> considering we're only three weeks into the season, I'm surprised about all the Maui that was flowing and all those cries of, eh, the bubbles tickle my nose. And that was the footballers. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't think they drink bubbly very often. Some of those footballers are pretty brainy, though. I was talking to one chappy on the way to the men's room. He said he was in petrochemicals. I said, oh, are you going to Point Lilius? He said, no, I'm going to Point Percy. And um, I was <laughs> part of the... Part of the entertainment was a raffle of footballers, and Molly Meldrum and I kept out bidding everyone. But uh, we couldn't agree on one guy, so we just each uh, grabbed a leg and made a wish. And um, the, the, um, the footballers, I noticed during the speeches, footballers kept popping outside with their wives. And so I've got a bit of advice for Tim McGrath tonight. See if they can hold the tribunal hearing in the MCG car park, because that's where all those other footballers got off. <laughs> <laughs>